Shalom uvracha, everybody. This week's Torah portion is Parashat Vayechi. We conclude the first of the five books of Moses, Bereshit, Genesis. It discusses the coming of Jacob to Egypt. He came with all of his family, with all of the tribes. They reunited with Joseph and his family. And it says that this 17 years, the last 17 years of Jacob's life, were the best years of his life. How could it be that he was in Egypt, which Egypt was a very immoral place, that he, there specifically was the best years of his life? Well, obviously, because he was with his family and they were all reunited, that was the happiest moments of his life. But also, it says that they established yeshivot, houses of learning. And this ensured the spiritual survival. This ensured the strength. And that's why eventually when Paro... Pharaoh tricked the children of Israel and said, come work for me, I'll pay you. And, and he never paid them, and they ended up becoming slaves. One of the tribes never went at all. They never went. They said, we don't want to get paid. We're not interested. Why? They were the tribe of Levi, because they were in the yeshivot studying Torah, and they didn't want to take away from their Torah studies. So they never became slaves. They never entered into that slave mentality. Having one tribe like this that never had that slave mentality had a big effect on all of the other tribes that they saw something that they could aspire to, something that they could learn from. And that gives us the power also. Jacob blesses all of the tribes and each tribe he gives them a special blessing. He says to Joseph, he says, hadar lo. Joseph is beautiful. He's strong like an ox, but also beautiful. It says about Judah, Gur Arye Yehuda. J Judah is like a lion. Every tribe was blessed. It says that with Judah, it says, Leven Shinai Mechalav, that Judah has white teeth, whiter than milk, for, for, like kind of from his drinking of milk in a sense. But the Talmud says, who, has, who is blessed? The one who shows his teeth to others in a smile. The one who uplifts others. That's the power of uplifting others. It's a great blessing to uplift others, to make others happy. And that's why Judah is blessed with leadership. Because not only is he a leader who leads people and shows, shows the community the way to go, but also he's a leader that can actually kind of come down to the level and help them where they are at and help uplift them where they need uplifting. And that's why we need our leaders to be people that could actually see into the community, see where the community is stumbling, see where the community needs help, and help work on that. So Be'ezrat Hashem, may we merit these things and continue to be blessed. God bless you all. Shabbat Shalom.